Well, I just got informed that my son and daughter-in-law canceled this show. They no longer want to participate in the show that might offer some healing. At least there was a little sign that says they wanted to create change, but fear got the best of them. Kind of have a feeling what went wrong. And it was another family member's fear. That's what our whole family dynamic is about, is somebody has a fearful story, somebody tells that story, and then it gets blown up into a bigger story to the point where every single person is too scared to make any changes. And yet nobody's getting along. Nobody's life seems to be going that well because they do have a fear thing going on. How can your life be well if you fear something or if you dislike something that's going on? So it's, you know, clearly everybody likes where they are. And as long as everybody likes their life experience, who am I to judge? We learn from our mistakes. And if some people want to live in fear, that's their business. I live in no fear. I would prefer to get along, but clearly people don't want to get along yet. Um, I'm ready, willing, and able at any time, but I will do a blog. I will talk about my life because my life experiences involve me doing some research to understand what the hell is going on and how do you solve some major problems because I haven't found the answers to that. People who claim to know how to solve some of these type family issue massive problems don't really know the answers. That's why family members are breaking up all the time <laughs> because nobody knows how to cure this except for um, a sort of like a combination of things that I've studied which I'm going to share. So I'm going to share all of the information I know, which the only way that is effective is if everybody knows. It's no good if I'm the only one that knows it. The only thing that will do for me is help me function within this life experience. Um, and I don't happen to enjoy my life experience, so I'm going to influence my world with new information. It's opportunity for me. And everybody wants to be working. So, and I agree, I'd rather be working. I'd rather be doing something productive. I just happen to believe that our old ways of doing things are dead wrong. So I'm going to introduce new ways of doing things. That happens to work for me. Everything that's new is a challenge to begin. If you're watching it at the beginning stages. Um, but it will build. I'm always successful at what I start, and this is something I'm born to do. It's going to be the rest of my life, which means I'm going to be talking about my family experiences. And now that that show is all done, I don't have the contract in front of me, but um, I don't necessarily need to say what network it is, but they literally put in there that I had to sign away um, an agreement that says the show may involve defamation and false information <laughs> and that I wasn't entitled to sue them for saying false information about me and defamation. All right. So, I mean, the only part that's relevant that we can really know what the hell's going on is they attempted to say it's okay for us to lie and make you look like a fool, which is exactly what the Dragon's Den did as well, is made me sign that contract or they weren't going to give me the money they said that they were going to give me so I could fly home, which made that contract null and void because it literally said in the contract that I wasn't under a threat. And it was clearly a threat. The contract itself was the threat making the contract null and void. This particular contract I did put in writing that no, I don't agree to any defamation or any lies or any false information being told about anybody. So I don't know whether they would have approved that con that, that change in their contract or not to see what kind of morals they, you know, when push comes to shove, would they just have canceled the contract because I wouldn't agree to that anyway. Um, which would have told you who your media is. And that's who your media is right now is every time they do a show, they're basically in their contracts 
every business contract that they have that involves people being involved in it, you're going to see that more times than not, an intention to defame, which means make you appear like something you're not, and using false information. But watch your mainstream media. There's the way to, to get truth. Um, so I don't know how that show would have turned out. Um, that's why I'm not like they friggin' deal whether everything is canceled. The only thing that I'm looking at is we've seen a sign that at least my son and possibly daughter-in-law were interested in fixing problems or they were interested in just telling me to get the hell out of their lives and they wanted to do it on TV and maybe they were motivated for $7,000. Something was happening at least there. That's not for me to judge whether what that was or not. It's up to them of what it is. Okay, what made you people want to do something? <laughs> and what was it? What was the end result that you wanted? And let's see if you're creating that. If it is to just escalate, um, then I trust that you just want conflict and that's okay. If family members want conflict, then they can live their lives with conflict. I just will not participate in conflict anymore. <laughs> and <laughs> which happens to be the words that my son has said is he doesn't do conflict. In order to not do conflict, you kind of got to get rid of the conflict and then not create more and more conflict. But the act of not solving problems means you're constantly in conflict. Um, but I will live by their rules and I won't do conflict either. I'll just live my life and probably the biggest fear is me talking about my life that involves them. And it's like the only way to stop that is to sort of get rid of that conflict through communication so that we don't do conflict. <laughs> you can't create conflict and then say there is no conflict. <laughs> Anyways, um, Interesting turn of events. Show is canceled. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't counting, holding my breath on that one. Uh, I only hold my breath on things that I can control. And I think this radio blog show, although it's a partnership, I'm thinking that that one is something that I'm going to get excited about. A little bit more in my control than somebody else's control there. Should be interesting. Peace out.